everyone, and welcome to this edition of GM Spring Hill. Quality starts here. I'm Kate Neary. The first just keep coming as we continue to move toward full production of the all-new Chevrolet Traverse. One recent sign of progress was the first Spring Hill Chevrolet reaching the car final area in the newly refurbished plant. Let's join the excitement as that event took place. Today is the very first time we've got our all new Chevy Traverse come off the actual production line here in General Assembly. Everybody that's here is absolutely thrilled to actually be in the plant and have the opportunity to actually see the vehicle online and use the tools that they're going to be using uh, to, build, to build the vehicle. And it's really been our first opportunity, so we are all very thrilled about uh, everything we've got the chance to experience for the last two weeks or so. Oh, it's a great day for us. Uh, it's a new chapter in our uh, existence. Uh, we went from Saturn, now we're going into the Chevrolet mode. Uh, it's a great day. We're looking forward to putting this product out to our dealerships, and I know they're all excited about it, as excited as we are about it. Well, I, I think there's there's been a lot of people been working on this project for uh, as much as two years. People here in Spring Hill, people from Michigan, we've got a lot of people working on the project. It means a lot to every single individual working out here on the line. It means a lot to every single individual in the community. It is a very inspiring moment to see it all coming together after having spent a lot of time working on it. And uh, I am confident in this plan that we're going to have a world-class launch, one that not only General Motors can be proud of internally, but can become the world-class launch in the uh, North American automotive industry. Well, you know, being a trades guy, and we've been looking at the last 18 months, and I didn't know if this place was ever going to come together. But once again, our trades force and our people proved that we could produce this product, and it's a great day for us. You know, it's been 18 months in, the, in works. Yeah, it's nice to be a part of it. There's that excitement that we had back in 90 when I, when I first came down. Uh, it's neat to be have that excitement, that buzz back in it. Uh, new product, new equipment. So it's neat to be a part of that. I was a part of that before, and it's nice to kind of, kind of rejuvenate it a little bit. This, this product's got to be built with precision. Our team members have to build it with the highest quality that they can, and, and, and they always do. Our team members of this facility have done just an outstanding job. I mean, I, I, I brag on our team members everywhere I go with the General Motors leadership around what a fantastic job they, they, they've done. Uh, the launches that we've had when we were Saturn uh, for the Saturn products were extraordinary. This plant is considered the, uh, one of the best plants, plants for launches and for quality within the GM system. And uh, we just need to do the, the same things that we've been doing over the last 18 to 20 years here in Spring Hill, that this product will roll off the line uh, with the highest quality that's, that's possible uh, here. And, and, and certainly that's what our customers are expecting. I know that's what our team here expects. Our, our team members will do a fantastic job. I know they'll deliver, they always do. When I get into a car, I'm thinking, who's going to buy it and who's going to be driving next? And I want them to have a very, a very good driving experience. I don't want them to have to take it back to have something fixed. I want to make sure when we leave my station that everything's working perfectly for them. The plant's progress is also unmistakable in the fab shop area of body systems. New technology and processes make that area a benchmark for efficiency and quality. Let's take a look at one example of Spring Hill's continuous improvement at the new linear cells. Right now we're in Spring Hill, Tennessee. And what you're seeing is a part of the process that builds a Traverse, a new Chevy uh, crossover. And this is called the GD Linear Zone. And what we do here is we build sub-assembled parts that make the back end the D-ring of the, the lift gate that holds the lift gate in the truck. This is the first linear, true linear cell. As a matter of fact, it's the first really only linear cell here in the fab shop. And what it is, it's a new version of what we can do to increase the efficiency of the operator, bring the material closer to the operator so they're not reaching, reduce their walk path, and all in all, it's a win-win it's for General Motors and also for the UAW. Well, it's the flexibility of it is what makes this area unique. The, the jobs, the robots and all that are the same as you see everywhere else. But it's the way they're going to implement it, the way they have it set up. They can run it with two, four, six, however the schedule dictates, uh, that's what we can adjust to. Quality's always been job one. That's never been, uh, I don't care if we got two or six, eight people over. 
quality is utmost over here. It's always been that way here. So that's uh, but as far as running quality parts, you know your job, you do your job, you run quality parts, you check your job, any problem, you can get skill trades over here right away and we make adjustments. Well, we're always looking for uh you know, ways to improve quality. So, and, and one way to do that is eliminate the waste out here. If we've got guys uh, uh, walking too far to get apart and uh, and or double handling parts or anything like that, it's uh, that's a waste. And, and and the guys, when they're doing that stuff, they're they're, they're wasting energy doing that when, when they can be concentrating on quality and building more quality. And so, we look at ways to help the operator and and, and every thing we do about continuous improvement. Material presentations better better than what we've had in the past, I believe. Uh, the walk path and where we, we consistently build a car would be a true GMS style where you can only operate in one way and it's the right way and it's the most efficient way. What we've done is this, this is this, when the cell came down we were, we were very generic with it, how it came from, uh, from, from the WTC up in Grand Blank and since then we've been able to really we've done 70 suggestions and improvements on this tooling and everyone has made that operator's job that much easier and that much better. And we're not done. Uh, once the operators are all back to work here, we have more hands and more eyes on this thing. We're open to suggestions to really make an improvement. Because this doesn't, just doesn't end here. We want to get better in the future as we go to help the operator, help our efficiency, save on walk path, and, and become a better, a better organization be more efficient. spring, the Nashville Convention Center hosts the Southern Women Show. This year, the women of the GM Spring Hill team were there to show off our new product, the Chevrolet Traverse. We're here at the uh, 2008 Nashville Southern Women's Show. Uh, annual event here in Nashville at the Convention Center. It's a great event. Lots of women and men. Uh, come out for this event every year. It's a four-day event. It runs Thursday through Sunday afternoon. And we're here today with the all-new Chevrolet Traverse that we will be building in Spring Hill later this fall. We've got a great display, already a lot of people looking at it, very interested in the vehicle. On top of that, we've got the uh, Chevrolet Malibu Hybrid, which has our 2.4-liter hybrid engine that we also build in Spring Hill under the hood here of this uh, Malibu. So we're talking about these great products to all the people coming through the show today getting lots of attention already. Yeah, this is very important for us to be here and have a presence from our Spring Hill manufacturing plant. So many people already have said, where's that vehicle going to be made? And we're saying right here, Middle Tennessee, Spring Hill. And people automatically uh, get excited about that. So I think it's important that our plan is represented here. And of course, we're making a great uh, name here for the Chevrolet product with the Malibu and the Traverse on display. I think it's very important for us um, as women to be here showing our support for our product, for our um, GM and for the UAW and, and it just shows everyone how proud we are and, and that we want to share our excitement with them. We are here today to um, show off our new product for Spring Hill. We're very proud of it and uh, we just want to show what the union members are building in our plant. People are excited and we're excited to be here. I'm a quality engineer. I'm uh, responsible for uh, some of the interior components of this vehicle. I'm very excited about the quality of this vehicle. I'm working very hard to make it happen. So I'd like for everybody to know that, that we're building a quality vehicle. Taking care of the local environment and teaching children to do the same is important to us all. The team at GM Spring Hill proved that recently by digging in and getting their hands dirty. out here on this beautiful Saturday morning uh, at the tributary on McCutcheon Creek which actually runs between the GM Spring Hill plant and the UAW Hall and the uh, kind of the uh, McDonald's over here onto the side of the plant and we're planting trees uh, to help buffer the creek uh, from runoff and uh, pollution. 
You know, this is really important activity for uh, the GM and UAW to be involved with because, uh, you know, first of all, uh, it just shows our commitment to the community. We're, we're out here doing w one thing that we're actually able to contribute to in our local community with the uh, help of uh, preserving the creek and the environment, and it coincides very, very nicely with the uh, Earth Day activities, and we're able to get a lot of folks in the community out here today. You know, General Motors is uh, such a great corporate sponsor that we have here in Tennessee, and we're just so proud to have them, and, and we want to thank General Motors for opening uh, this area for us to plant trees and come in and, and have this celebration today. You know, we got a beautiful uh, stream, wet weather stream running down beside us and, and protection of our water, protection of our resources. It all goes hand in hand and if we're not connected and General Motors definitely knows that. And I think that's why they chose Spring Hill, Tennessee to come to because it's such a beautiful place and we want to make sure that uh, it's still protected in the future. Well, we're in the Duck River watershed and one of the most biologically diverse watersheds in the United States. And there's been an impact um, to our streams here. Uh, they're, they're, they're pretty much polluted uh, due to development. And I, I've got to tell you, though, I'm very appreciative to, to GM Spring Hill and the UAW for coming out and helping us establish these riparian zones. We're doing this all over the city, and uh, it's going to economically help boost our economy because uh, the, 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 the better the buffer zone, the cleaner the water, the less money it costs in treatment plants. So we want to just thank you all for being a part of helping us Tennessee Environmental Council and for the Tennessee Environmental Council providing the trees today. We plant 150 trees. So uh, thanks. <laughs> what we're trying to do here is reestablish a buffer zone along uh, one of the blue line streams that are located in here in the stream. This buffer zone basically helps the water quality of the whole entire stream. Um, it helps filter the water, um, adds value to the land as far as beauty, makes it real nice for folks to walk around and have trees and, and to think, see these such things. But what it does is it also helps with flood control. And um, as we all stated before, we all live downstream. So the cleaner we can keep the water upstream, the cleaner it's going to be for everyone else. I came out this morning for two reasons. Um, first. As part of my Quinton staff here at the plant, I wanted to demonstrate my support for, I think, what's clearly a very worthwhile and meaningful activity. And I think, secondly, as a parent, you know, my kids are at the age now where they're starting to understand the importance of the environment. And uh, I wanted them to see that it doesn't take $15 million and 700 people to make a difference. And these little activities really can add value. So. Uh, uh, two, two prong for me, one as a dad and one as a member of the staff here at Spring Hill. We're um, planting uh, some tree saplings um, in honor of Earth Day. Um, it's a day when we take a, a little bit of time out of our life to recognize the importance of our Earth and to give back something to, um, to this wonderful world that supports all of our needs. Um, and uh, um, it, we've had a great turnout, it's been a beautiful day, it's been beautiful weather. Um, and we're just really thankful that we have all this wonderful property here um, and that we're able to, uh, to be good stewards of it. Well, that wraps up another edition of our program. Before we go, we wanted to share with you the news that the national chapter of the Public Relations Society of America has recognized this program with its prestigious Parthenon Award. We're all very grateful and proud of this achievement. Please be sure to join us next time as we strive to keep you informed about our plant, our product, and our people on quality starts here.